Hey y'all, Yankee Mad Dog Messiah here with you, of course, your personification of greatness when it comes to wrestling talk here with the IWC and the YWC on this uh, Thursday. Um, I've been uploading stuff the past two hours, so check out the channel. Um, I might have some busted open radio stuff coming at you uh, later on tonight. We'll see what happens, but CM Punk. I just heard about this, um, wanted to do a video, but waited till after the Portugal game was over. By the way, Portugal won today 4 uh first game in their Euro 2024 qualifying. I'm not really sure why CM Punk, this Instagram story, was posted and then deleted. So, if you don't know what's going on, drama alert, CM Punk, we all know last summer, came back to AEW after he was injured at Double or Nothing. Remember, he was a champion. Had to relinquish the title because of a foot injury that he had while doing a little bit of a stage dive. Comes back after the injury and has the feud with John Moxley. And what we saw on AEW Dynamite and John Moxley defeated CM Punk. Three minute squash match, which everybody in the wrestling community thought this was punishment for what CM Punk said about Hangman Page. That Hangman Page was um, putting himself over. Y'all know the story. And then, at All Out, John Moxley puts over CM Punk. During that match, he injures the tricep, and we all know what happened from there. Brawl Out. This guy, he is such a waste to this company. I'm sorry. He is a waste of professional wrestling. Everybody was all happy when he came back to AEW. Well, when he came back to pro wrestling and joined AEW. And now all of a sudden, ever since this guy has returned, he's been a failure. And why did his Instagram story... Had to be posted when the company and the ratings just came out for last night's Dynamite. They went up. I told you all that main event was going to kick ass last night. I wonder where the WWE drones are on this Thursday. Yeah, they're probably still hiding in Mommy's basement. They probably watched Dynamite last night. And then with CM Punk with all of this shit after Brawl Out, supposedly him getting suspended, the company was in the right direction. They were heading into that. Because now they got leadership. You got people in there like John Moxley, Chris Jericho, Brian Danielson as locker room leaders. And now CM Punk has to go to this stoop. Oh, yeah, he called Chris Jericho a stooge. And yet, you want this guy back in AEW? Be this guy, oh, oh, my God. This guy is the Hulk Hogan when Hulk Hogan was in WCW. It's cold on facts. Hulk Hogan was one of the reasons why WCW got destroyed during the Monday Night Wars. You can say it about Kevin Nash too. And you guys out there want to say that he is like this messiah. Like he's the great one. What did I say in September? I said in September that we're seeing the real CM Punk. We're seeing the 
the drama CM Punk, the guy that complained when he was in the WWE, the guy that walked out on the WWE after the Royal Rumble and started burying people in that company. He's now doing the same thing to people in AEW. Just wanted to go on here, give uh, my thoughts on this story. I'm sure that it's going to be a lot coming out tomorrow. Melter, yeah, I don't really read his shit anymore. But, yeah, CM Punk, man, cut the shit. Cut the fucking shit. Let us enjoy being wrestling fans. Let us enjoy the product. Instead of us coming on here and fucking bad mouthing you. I'm out, guys. Peace. Fuck the haters. Fuck Vince McMahon. Fuck Braun Strowman, too. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'm going to have to put a fuck CM Punk in the future. I don't know. <laughs>